What you need is to have a good relationship with God. Mm. It is the fear of God mm. that it makes you be faithful to your husband, be faithful to your wife, no matter where you go. You can go abroad. You can stay there for years. And your family, bringing them to you mm. is difficult. Mm -hmm. But because you fear God, you can still be loyal to your wife. You can still be loyal to the husband. Yeah. You can still stick there. You can meet so many temptations and so many things that can bring you. Mm. But because you are strong enough to know that I made a vow to the woman and I, I purpose to love one woman mm -hmm. and I fear God yeah. because God is against sexual immorality. I want to tell you for sure, wherever you will be, you will stand. Amen. Most of the men who fail into the root of unfaithful, they, they are the men who cannot control their desires. They cannot control the desires even of their loins. That's why I said in this program earlier, we know when you are born again, mm -hmm. when we are dealing with the two things, money, and uh, there are some people who are born again, but when it comes to money, they are not. They are not. You give them money, they, you will know this brother is not born again. Mm -hmm then many people are born all the way upward from their waist. From their waist. <laughs> upward. Now, now from there, from below the belt, downwards, <laughs> many people are not born again there. Many people are not born again there. And you need to but check yourself. Is. You are not, you are supposed to check yourself clearly. Can I be trusted with money? Can I control my loins? Mm -hmm. As a man, can I Exactly. Control my loins. Yeah. So there are some people who cannot control, control their loins. They play weak. They play weak. Today you are saying, I was in my weak moment. The other day, I was in my weak moment. You play weak. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> the men who play weak, mm -hmm. they are not still mature. <laughs> they mature. They immature because you play weak. You can't play weak. You cannot joke with something. That is, yeah. Uh, when you are on the steering and you know you are the driver, you mm -hmm. cannot then you focused. cannot you remain focused. Even you can, if others in the car, they are even others when they, are, they sleep they are on their phones, you, can't, they, sleep. you can't sleep. You can't sleep, you know where you are doing. You, you, we you call it when you enter into the, the driver's seat, we call it a magical seat. Mm -hmm. the, some decision you make, some people cannot make it. There is a wisdom that is related to that because you are carrying life, yeah. you are sensitive. So if you know. The dangers of sexual immorality. You remain faithful. You will remain faithful. Mm -hmm. So some men, they are there, they play weak. You play weak, you play weak. And when you play weak, you cannot control your loins. You will end up having this, you will end up having that. And finally, you will not be able to, 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 to live with the results that will come. So the, those people who are who are, are also committing this kind of things. Mm. They lack the steel to keep their ones yeah. or their promises to their partners to cultivate mm. the, the, their own garden. Mm. And therefore, they seek for adventure somewhere else. In other words, you cannot keep your wife. You cannot make her happy. Mm. You cannot maintain her. You cannot keep yourself the ones you said. You have spoiled for yourself. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You look for an adventure Some, somewhere else. Yeah. You try to look for somewhere else you can get peace. Mm -hmm. Because you have failed to create peace in your own home. And even there, when you cause problems, you, run away. you will run away from this lady. You will look for another one for a temporary time. So in other words, so you cannot be satisfied. You cannot be satisfied. You go hurting this, hurting the other, hurting the other. Mm -hmm. There are so many men who have formed that threat. You go, you impregnate this. They tell you I'm pregnant. I didn't plan for that. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So this lady cries with you at what, what, what? You leave. All of a sudden, because you are not ready to take care of this, you begin a relationship with another one. 
you want adventure somewhere else because you are not able to take care of what you have. You want to see somebody who is neat. Very few men who will take a woman who is dirty, wash her, clean her, make her everything. Very few men will do that. Mm -hmm. But men will wait when somebody has cleaned her, has made everything, mm. she has appeared good, and then they go to the good. They appear to the good. And what are they going to do that to the good? To spoil. So the, they, they are under curse. They spoil mm. the mm. good that, that has already been that's not a blessing. created. Yeah. And that is not something that mm. is good. It's not. When it comes to, to mm. life. So you have to understand that you have to make your own wife stay beautiful. Maintain your word. Keep that promise that you promised. And then when you keep that promise that you promised, mm -hmm. there is no need for you to look for an adventure elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Because you shall be satisfied, you shall be good, and you shall stay there. If you don't water your own grass, <laughs> It will wither. Yeah. And when it wither, you want to see where the ground, the green is. Yeah. The, the grass is green. Mm -hmm. It may be green next door. So you may be what see a man always trapping his wife, his neighbor's wife. Because the neighbor knows how to take care of the, the wife, taking her to the saloon, uh, dressing her. Mm -hmm. She's a good farmer. He is a good farmer, cultivating the garden. So if you don't know how to take care of your wife, you will start seeing others who are beautiful and you want, you go to run that. That's also a weakness. You have to make a decision that I'm going to love a woman and I'm going to love her the rest of my life. And for you to avoid such uh, 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 temptation of running where the, the grand, green, grass is green, mm -hmm. you have to maintain yours green. You have to take water, water that, it. You water it. <laughs> keep on watering yeah. that, mm. that grass and it will be good. The same way, I think even some women. Yeah, of course, they are, they are, if, if you cannot maintain your... They, they wait for a man who has is, been washed, yeah, cleaned, dressed well. The, the, the suit is bent yeah, well yeah. by the, the wife yeah. and the, the shoes are shining. So they will say this is the man. You say this is the man. The man that has been made mm -hmm. because men are made. Mm -hmm. So when, when, when you see that man, he knows on how to speak, he knows on how to take care of his family. Mm -hmm. They want ready made men. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is how many men are falling also in traps mm. because they have been made they, they they meet these people and when traps are laid they are not able to come out of trap but mm. I, I'm, I'm praying and I'm trusting the Lord that uh, men will be stable stable in their minds of course stable mm. in their morals stable in their decisions and uh, when they do that even if they meet with temptations mm. Joseph met with temptation but he said i cannot do this i cannot do this and sin against my god mm. so uh as, as as we are talking to men that we believe they are in the foundation of the knowledge of god mm. even if you meet with who are uh, or with somebody out there even they, they walk like what or yeah, they mean like that remain focused to your wife mm. make your wife be 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 truthful mm. to what you said. Don't betray mm. your, your your wife. Don't betray your husband. There are men who are guided by lust, yeah. not love. Lust. Lust. You lust for whatever you see. There are men who run run after anything with his cat. Lust. Lust. That's a demon. Not not love. They don't mm. distinguish between love. And last. and last, so they can do anything when they see a woman, especially yeah. who, who appeals to this them. kind of men. They prefer the exciting, exciting and cheap options, exciting and cheap options. Mm -hmm. So, when they see something, they exact them as cheap, they throw themselves. Out. That's why you see, uh, they, they can play around with their house elves, mm -hmm. they can play around with small children, school girls, those who will be given a little things. Yeah. And when they're given little things, they will fall for those little things. My God. They cannot waste their time on men, women who have the right minds. Because the women with the right minds, before they sleep with you, they demand responsibility. Yeah, commitment. They want a commitment. Yeah. yeah. Not all women are Assurance. ready to, 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 to open themselves for any man. Yeah. They want commitment. Mm. And if you are not ready to be committed and they check the commitment, 
If your commitment is not with her, mm -hmm. she is not ready. That's true. She wants responsibility. Mm. If you are not going to be responsible for whatever happens after this, then I'm not, then I'm not going to stay with you. Yeah. So good women look for that. What's the commitment? You have loved me. Mm. I want to check the commitment. I want to know how serious are you. Now those who are not real, they look at you, they look at your car, tell them a lift, they go in. Without knowing it, they are there also, they are looking for exciting, cheap things. Mm. The same way with the playboys. <laughs> so, if you married a playboy, it will require a very high level of grace for you to come out of the pain and tears. Because they are like that. We said many men can woo a woman, but few men can love a woman for life. Few can love that woman, commit to that woman for life. Very few. So I pray that God will lead you to the real men, those who are not married. Amen. That you get a man who is real, mm. who does not play last, mm -hmm. cannot go for cheap and exciting things. It's somebody who is ready for a commitment. Somebody who is ready for that commitment. And this is a sign you see. You get to a man who wants to sleep with the next day. Even if they are in church, know that this is a cheap thing. Yeah, yeah. He's not a, He's a playboy. He's not a gentleman. I have seen them even in the church. Mm -hmm. The man leaves the wife at home and comes because he's a new church and in the town. Yeah. He tells the lady that I don't have a wife. The wife is pregnant, six months. But the man says, I don't have a wife. Yeah. And the lady, within less than a few days, they have st started caressing. They are almost on to the way on to the sex. And this man, because he is pretending, and the lady is there, just very loose. Because he has seen a handsome man. Some men who have some good-looking face. <laughs> some... Some good looking faces. You have to screen them again and again and again. Mm -hmm. Don't be deceived by the face. Yeah. Because some may be uh, uh, already uh, uh, dead inside of them. They are, they are, they are, they, 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 are they are, they are, they are just covering themselves with the sheep covering, the sheep clothing. But they are hoofs. Yeah. They have come to be vowed. Mm. So, <laughs> uh, uh, let us come to an end today uh, because our time is up. But tomorrow we shall uh, deal now with the roots of unfaithfulness. Why people become unfaithful? And we give you some solutions so that you can avoid the traps because there are some traps that you need to avoid so that you can be faithful. It's true. But don't be a cheap option. Don't fall into the trap of the devil. It's a honor, an honorable thing when you love one woman to death. Mm. It's an honorable thing when you love one man to death. When you become faithful, true to that cause, reliable, and committed to that, there's, there's joy in that marriage. Happiness is there. Mm. I want to tell you it does not taste good. When a man sleeps with a woman and then this woman is remembering the same man sleeping with me who is supposed to be my mm -hmm. husband mm -hmm. is sleeping with another woman somewhere else. It's a torment. It is not allowed. Mm. The Bible does not permit it. And for you to be true, you don't have to get married to be faithful. It begins long before marriage. marriage. And you need to understand that as a married person. If you were not faithful long before marriage, it was just extended. It was a continuation of life. So you need to re re uh, reverse your steps again to where you fell. You cannot just rectify things in the middle. Mm. You have to go back from where you yeah. You fail. Yes. And this is how you can begin to walk. It is faithful. It is it's faithful, uh, possible for you to be faithful. Amen. You have to follow the character of God. 
Don't be moved by lust. Some women, you married a very good man. And all of a sudden, you were overcome by the power of the devil. You led them astray. You were also able to be led astray. Some men played with your emotions and they got married. And they apply boy. Some of them you begin to sense who are there. They want to see you naked. Some honorable women have just been reduced like prostitutes by their own husbands. You want to see your stomach out every time you are going, even before men. You want to see your legs. And invites you clothes that look like that so that you go out. This is a playboy. You want to see. If a man wants to see a nakedness of a certain woman, mm -hmm. you always want to see nakedness of other women. It's not comfortable. You want to use to see you naked everywhere. It's not wise. So those are lusts. Those are lusts. And they're only playboys who do such things. Mm. I don't know the, the, the final ones that you have as we hear today, that our time is gone as we prepare the following. We are tough, handling tough things and we came tough <laughs> knowing it's, it is not a subject. Some do not want to listen it directly. They have to wait the program to come to an end so that they listen it later. It's okay, we understand that. We understand it's tough times, but we are always prepared for everything to tell you what can help you. This is disturbing people and we need to come out and say the truth. Yeah. Mm. I thank God. So all sicknesses are not the same. Mm. They are minor and they are terminal illnesses. And uh, I think this one it is it is of its kind. Mm. Uh, faithfulness and unfaithfulness. And uh, this can cause many people to be tensed. They are not comfortable. But uh, when you are sick or when you sense that uh, that uh, you, you there's something that is not working right, you don't run away. Mm. You, you, you take medicines and medicines are not even sweet. Actually, they are very bitter, mm. but you take them the way they are uh, for your healing. So today we came to address um, about faithfulness and unfaithfulness in the divine marriage program. And the solution to this, it is sinking deeper into the presence of God. Mm. It is uh, deciding that this is what I want to maintain. And if you end drifting, uh, it is very possible for the Lord to restore you. Mm. Even if you are you have fallen into temptation, uh, you can rise again. You can rise again. So don't just be trapped or fall and remain fallen. If you are being uh, tempted, when you see uh, you are born again, when when you see women, you have you feel that you feel attracted. Attracted. It's like you cannot control yourself. You are a woman when you see men. Uh, especially these days, even some men, even the way some men are dressed, mm -hmm. it is, it some is, women have, have the problem. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is. It is becoming something else because uh, of lust. Yeah, because of lust. Carnality. Yeah. So we 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 advise uh, everyone that as a couple, you you are bind to the word of God. You are bind to what you 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 told the other person. Mm -hmm. You you are bind to the 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 ones that are governing. Uh, your family, what you spoke to one another, and the Lord will, the Lord will help you. And mm. even during the the, 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 the the time of trials, you, you, you can overcome. Mm. You can you can come out, and you come out strongly. Be a woman enough. Be a man enough. Mm. I said, be a woman enough. Be a man enough. What does it require? It requires your commitment. It requires you to be responsible, to be accountable. Mm. Because um, when people begin to be unfaithful, they, they don't want to be accountable. Yeah. You don't want to be asked anything. You don't want to be asked. Like now, I, I, I come home uh, with, with some things. I bought some dresses. I and bought... they don't want to be asked. Yeah. I'll say it is God who opened our way. And, and uh, I always tell people you need to be very sensitive. Yeah. Where are you coming from? Yes. What are the foundation? Yes. If you don't deal with them, they will deal with you. They will deal with you. And if you feel that you are having that kind of a feeling mm -hmm. that I may betray one another because mm -hmm. of the love you have, you have to expose. Yeah. You have to expose and say, my dear, it's not that I want to cheat, but I feel Pray for this me. and this. Pray yeah. for me. Guide me. Mm -hmm. And this person will guide you and protect, show you the things 
that you are not supposed to do. You are, not, you are, you are supposed to exercise self-control. You control yourself rather than falling and becoming a cheater. Mm. Instead of you cheating, exercise self-control. Mm. And when you exercise self-control, then that is, that is, uh, 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 we don't give you something that is plus. That is an extra thing. You remain faithful mm. because you exercised self-control. Then you, you should not take marriage so casually or life so casually. Mm. Some of us have approached life so casually that you can sleep with another man like a, something a joke. Mm. Casually. Just like that. You can sleep with somebody's woman. You take life so casually. And some of us, even uh, they, they, they live what we call care, careless life. Mm. They are carefree. They don't, you don't care what will happen. You don't even care. That's why the conscience is not even bothering Imagine you. you, are, you carefree. You are with somebody who is not your husband. And this person starts touching you, and you are not even you're, reacting. Yeah, you are not, you're reacting. not even stopping this. Man. Somebody is holding your hand for several minutes, looking into your face, how beautiful you are, beautiful, and it's not your husband, it, and you are careless. There are people when they greet you, they just want your heart, and they don't want to release it, and you are not even. You are not, not even bothered. That is Somebody bad. comes and tries to do funny things before you, and you are not, and you are not married. You are careless. Oh, you that, just keep. That is very wrong. They say that you mm. are. You can uh, 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 accept that. Mm. You should not be a careful free person. Yeah. You are not supposed to be a carefree servant. You are things you need to, to sense. And you see this, the way it's coming is bad. Yeah. And you move away from it. Mm. That's why the Bible says, flee away sexual immorality. Yes. You have to flee. There's some things you need to move away mm. and put a barrier that will help you. Now, there's some people who decide to sacrifice a long term relationship because of just short gratification. They satisfied for one time. Then you sacrifice a long term relationship. Because of a single Ten years offer. marriage. Ten, twenty years marriage. You sacrifice because of something casual. You need to understand the vision. You need to stick to your cause. Amen. Amen. A cause of marriage. Become faithful. Be rated by God mm. as one of the faithful men or faithful women in the Amen. world. Amen. Not enter the story of, of the cheat, mm. crook, people who don't value love. Don't have dignity for love. You need to be sta to stand where you can be counted. Man, do you love your life faithfully? That's what you vowed. I will love you faithfully. Mm. Cling to you only. Mm. Faithful. Do you love that woman? Woman, do you love that man faithfully? They say, I will cling to you alone as long as possible. Or you started cheating the same night of the wedding. Have you been faithful. Where have you fallen? That's the question you need to ask mm. yourself. Where have you fallen? It's a question you need to ask yourself. Yeah. Number two, what drove you to betray your husband or your wife? What was driving fat? If you don't answer those questions very well, you may remain in that life and you may not like what will happen at the end. So, number one, do you love this man faithfully? If the answer is yes, you is yes. If it is no, you say no. No, if it's no, where have you failed? Where have you failed? Where did you fail? Then what did what drove you to betray? What pushed you? Do you know what pushed you mm -hmm. to betray? What pushed you to that woman? Do you know it? What pushed you to that man? Do you know it? If you know it, mm. you can easily be helped. There's some people say, I don't know why. That means something is amiss in your life. Somebody is not dragging you. Mm -hmm. You moved. And when you move there and entrap yourself in the wrong hands, <laughs> one night with a woman who is not your wife, it will cause you, not only in salvation, no, in the world, immorality is too expensive. Yeah. There are some people who have lost leadership quality. They have been 
remove from potential leadership position because of cheating. There are some players who have lost sponsorship. I don't want to name them, you know, you can search because of being unfaithful. Mm. There are those who have been stripped away privileges of being captains and being leaders, leaders of others because of sleeping with a wife that is not theirs. Mm -hmm. So sexual immorality, even away from punishment of hell, it is punishment here on earth. It is punishment here on earth. As I finish, I want to say this. David experienced one experience with Bathsheba. With Bathsheba. Mm -hmm. Changed him completely. He did not remain the David we knew. All his achievements are recorded before Bathsheba. Yeah. After Bathsheba, the story shifted. There is a woman who will see your nakedness and you will forget that you were anointed by God. Incredible. It destroy you completely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is a woman who will see your nakedness and from that day, you, are not you forget that you are a leader leading in business. You become poor. No victories. No victories. No. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Control your loins. That's the secret. Fear God. Love one woman faithfully. That is the strength. That is to be strong. That is a real man who sticks to one woman and knows commitment. You understand what is commitment? You understand what is commitment? That is a man. You know commitment and you are responsible. You love this woman, stick to this woman, stay with this woman until death puts you apart. And of course you love one man. You stick to one man. Tell them. Yeah. Come to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the same case to the woman, if uh, you can go out there and you can just fall in love with any man out there, you have become a, 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 a very foolish woman. And from there, you begin to destroy what you built and uh, you no longer remain the same. So there are consequences. You cannot have the same boldness again. And you cannot continue winning again unless you humble and you repent. That is the way you can be restored to greatness. So there are consequences mm -hmm. of unfaithfulness. Mm -hmm. When you remain unfaithful, mm -hmm. even uh, according to the word of God, you are no longer in the same place in the presence of God. You cannot maintain the same position in the matters of the kingdom. So I challenge you out there, you are a woman, hold on to that man. If he is down, cling, let this man cling to you, hold on to him. If he is up there, just hold on to him. If challenges come, hold on to that one man. And I tell you the truth. You can go up to the mountains and come down and you can stand and say, this is the only man that I have uh, held to for these 20 years, 50 years, 60 years. And that way, you have set another generation, another I descendant God, from you. I thank God I've been married for 17 years. And for 17 years, I have not seen the nakedness of another woman except her. And I want to speak that even to eternity. Amen. I thank God I've been married for the last 17 years and this is the man. And I thank God uh, this is our desire and this is my prayer that up to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, even when we go to heaven, if those chances will be there, still I can say, God, I want this same man. It is very possible. We are not angels, we are men with blood and flesh, but des deciding and of course holding on to the word of God and being controlled by the fear of God. This is possible. And we have a journey that we are walking. And because it is not by mighty nor by power, but through the help of the Holy Spirit, I challenge you as a couple, invite the Holy Ghost, invite Allow God to take charge in that marriage 
and you will be satisfied because God satisfies. God will cause you to see this one man being the best. Mm. Even if you meet with who and who out there, they don't capture your attention. They don't. There are some people say, you are saying that because you are married to a good man. Why did you marry a bad man? And you want at least a, power, a, a, a chance to choose. So <laughs> Imagine some of them when they, they were married, he was not bad. Nobody married a bad man. Now, that's, that's where we're coming to. Yeah. So it means <laughs> you never married a bad person. Yeah, they're you, making. You feel to make this person the way you wanted. And that is why we are coming to you to show you it can work again. And some is, somebody is asking, making how? If you realize there's a force following this person, you stand on the gap. Stand, stand on the gap. That is one way of making. Encourage this And when person. you know that you have a weakness, mm. stand there to be helped. Yeah. And one helper, number one helper is the Holy Spirit. Mm. Number one helper is the Holy Spirit. Amen. He will take away carnality. You will mm. not. When you walk, you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you will not uh, gratify the desires of, of the, the flesh. flesh. And when you do that, Amen. you are blessed. Amen. You can see my wife now is feeling <laughs> it's late. Let us pray. This is Divine Marriage Program yes, yes, yes. online coming to you every week from Monday to Friday. And uh, uh, we are grateful that you are listening. Today we are tackling a very sensitive issue. We know mm. it's, it's a dangerous one. And we are starting with it on Monday. <laughs> and we thank God because before we go to Friday, you will have uh, uh, overcome the fear and everything. But it's right. It's right we start yeah. with a strong dose for the week mm. uh, because this is what is killing many people. Yeah. And uh, sexual immorality has been allowed even in the church. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pastors are no longer talking about this. They're and not telling the people. And this is the one of the strongest weapon that the devil has unleashed against the church. And kill of their non. And will kill many mm. if you don't rise. Mm. If you don't rise, you will criminate. So we have seen men of God gotten with people's wife in their houses, women who have come to trap men of God in their house, and they are using the power of lust mm. to trap you, overcome it, and be strong. And you'll <laughs> you, you be strong and come mm -hmm. out of that mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Desires of the flesh will lead you to death. Mm -hmm. So let us overcome sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. Let us be faithful in our marriage and it's possible amen you can love one woman you can love one man let yes, us pray Lord. <laughs> amen father in the name of jesus yes, Lord. we stand today against the amen. spirit of sexual immorality in, in marriage last the forces of devil that binds people and stops them from living yes. a happy life yes, Lord. we see many people who have been wounded by mm. this Give men courage, mm. those who play weak, Lord, those who uh, play last instead of last, those who have uh, failed to adhere to the cause. Yes, we pray, God, mm. that you remind them the promise they made. Hallelujah. You promise, you remind them mm. that they are supposed to be loyal and faithful to one partner. Yes, Lord. No matter what kind of challenge they have gone through, mm. that they will remain faithful. Amen and true to the cause Amen. and they will follow this up to the end mm. they will remain true to the cause yes. they will love one another Amen. and they will walk in the way that is right yes, for the glorification mm. of your name Thank you, we destroy the roots yes. and the foundation of unfaithfulness mm. in marriage we destroy the power and the forces of infidelity we arrest it Every, every kind of spell casted against man, casted against woman, yes, to be unfruitful. We destroy Jesus, my in Jesus' name. Oh Father, help them to be faithful. Mm -hmm. Help them to stand firm, yes. to be faithful to you first. Mm -hmm. And then they shall be able easily, with ease, yes. to be faithful with one another. Thank you, Lord. We serve you. We love you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. We give you praise. We give you honor. And we give all the glory. Mm -hmm. I pray that those who fear you, Lord, 
the fear will continue to increase. Amen. That they will not lie against their mm. spouses. Mm. And those who target married people mm. to bring them down and to bring yes. them on the records of the people that have failed, we destroy. Those kind of strongholds built in the offices, yes. built in areas of business, to bring people down, mm. the married people, yes. that they should not stand. Mm. Those bosses who sleep with their secretaries yes. and the people who go bow down mm. to the places where people are, the women are serving mm. so that they use everything to serve them, even their own bodies, oh, to make them customers and clients of some places. Destroy we destroy those forces. We destroy them. Oh, yes. We destroy the roots of sexual immoralities yes, in families. Yes. Look at this man, mm. look at this woman yes, from their roots where they got married mm. and destroy mm. those foundations, yes, establish them mm. in love. Mm. Then they will be people who understand love is commitment. Yes, they will commit uh, to this one woman mm. through all the changes of life. Okay, they commit to this one man through all the changes of life. Mm. And they will be there to glorify your name. You, Let Jesus. them bring glory to your name by remaining faithful and they Jesus. remain honored. Let them honor their marriage yes. and let the bed remain undefiled. Amen. That is the way to honor marriage, is to keep the bed pure, mm. undefiled. Mm. Let their beds be undefiled. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, because you're doing it for mm. us. Oh, Lord, touch the hearts of many who will hear this message to accept it. Mm. Even those who shy away, let them listen to it. Let them look for it. Listen to it again and again mm. and speak to this. Mm. Let peace reign yes. in Jesus' name. Thank you. I cover them with the blood of Jesus this Amen. night. As they sleep, they are protected by you. Mm. They are favored by you. Amen. And your glory is shining upon their lives. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen. 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 We declare that your marriage is blessed, Amen. established on a rock, Amen. and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. Anyone targeting your wife mm. to bring you down, yes. let them die by fire. Jesus. Anybody targeting your husband, let them die by fire. I declare your love is shielded. They will not see you in Jesus' name. Anybody who want to bring you to the place of dishonor, they scatter this night. Jesus. And I pray that God will protect you Amen. and protect your marriage Amen. and protect your family. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. May the fear of the Lord be in your heart. Mm. May God cover you and protect your life. Amen. Have a wonderful night. God protect you, shield you. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the continuation of this topic. And we are going to be blessed. Share this message with your friends mm. so that they hear it. They escape. This is a dose that can make them escape <laughs> from what the devil is doing. Mm. God bless you. I am Apostle Domiziano Mwenda, together with my wife. I am Florida Mwenda. And we are thankful that you have Amen. listened to us. Amen. This is Divine Marriage Program mm. Online. A program that comes to you every week, Monday to Friday, starting from 9.00 p.m. East Africa time. God bless you. And we say marriage works. Yes. And it should work. Amen. For it was ordained to work. To work. Yeah. Na kwa tunasema, doa si kufumiliana, bali ne Amen. God bless you. Don't forget to listen to this message again. Download it through the YouTube at Apostle Domiziano Mwena. And you share it with your friends. And you are going to be blessed. Until tomorrow, may God keep you. May God watch over you. And be faithful. Love one woman. Until death put you apart. And love Amen. one man.